Hello, Daz Studio Enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to my tutorial series. Today, I want to talk a little bit about comics and how I create comics. I've had some questions about this, and most of my work is making a series of pictures. And I think a lot of times when I'm doing a challenge or talking about some of the problems that I have using Daz Studio, a lot of comments that I get deal with perhaps a single picture. The thing that comes to mind is my last video where I talked about the scene moving very slowly. And a lot of you had some great comments about what could be causing this and some remedies. For example, such as setting up a scene with multiple pictures that you can combine and things like that. That's all great for single pictures, but I thought it might be important to mention that I usually are making a series of pictures that are going to go into some kind of storyline. Now, I often just create one picture with text and then move to the next picture, but I do combine pictures occasionally, and I'm gonna show you kinda how I do this. So I have Milica here, and she is set up as Rapunzel. Just to kinda give you a idea of the scene here, you can see she is kinda looking out the window with really long hair. Now, what I've done is I've created this scene where I'm going to use this scene for multiple pictures in the comic. Uh, let's look at the perspective view. And the perspective view is very disjointed. And you'll see how just things are crazy. So I've got this tower that I've completely messed up, but I don't care because what I'm doing is for this scene, I'm focusing on the window Milika's looking out of, and then the ground here where she has a guy calling on her. You know, Rapunzel has a guy that, you know, is interested in Milika. So she is talking to him. So from the perspective view, it looks crazy because I just have these props kind of set up. And I have created five cameras. And I am going to use each of these cameras as a picture in the comic. So the first camera is kind of a view of Milica looking out of her window, kind of down at the ground. So I'm going to use this picture. The second picture is the close-up of Milica. It's just the same scene, just a different picture. The third camera, uh, wow, that's a nice view, is the inside of Milica's tower. And you can see her kind of bending over, looking out the window. The fourth picture is a picture of her looking down and you can see the person that she's talking to. So she's talking to this guy. I don't know, is it Flynn Rider? I don't know, Milica is looking pretty hot as Rapunzel. I have to say, I might have to rethink the Disney version of this, but um, I lose my train of thought. Okay, so the fifth camera is a close-up of our man character. So what I do is I just set up the scene, and then I'm going to set up multiple cameras so I don't have to render different scenes over and over again to get what I want. So depending on, you know, how many different views or different angles you can use, you can create several pictures. So that's what I've done. I'm just going to render these five pictures and then I will move my characters and my cameras to a different location, depending on what I want the next couple of scenes to look like. So I might uh, have a close-up of the man, and then I might have Rapunzel maybe in a different pose. Maybe she's upset crossing her 
arms, you know, maybe she's upset about something and I'll make another scene and save it. Now, when I save the next scene, so let's say I, I have this uh, Milica Rapunzel finish, so I'm just going to save it. Let's say I want to repose Milica, so I'm going to select Milica. Maybe we're going to make her with like a uh, like crossed arms, like she's upset about something. Like she's talking to the guy and she doesn't like what he's saying. So she's going to be kind of standing up with her arms crossed. So let's check that out. So we're just going to go and choose something like that. Okay, so this is a good pose right here. So I'm just going to click on that. So I'm going to let Milica repose. It's going to mess up her hair. That's okay. I expected that. I have created this really long hair of Milica. And, uh, you know, they don't make, or at least not to my knowledge, uh, Daz or any other vendor makes really long, like Rapunzel hair. So we're going to have to repose her. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to take a second and pose her hair back to a good position. Okay. Now that I have her hair posed correctly, I can readjust the camera, maybe a slightly different angle. I can go to my next camera, camera number two, and I can adjust it. So maybe I'll zoom out a little bit because Milica is just so darn cute. How can we not zoom out on her a little bit? All right, so she looks like she's talking. Then my camera three, now she is in a different position, so I've got to readjust. And you know, we're just going for the illusion of the picture. So see her hair is not perfect or anything, but I can adjust this camera so that we're looking maybe from the rear and she's looking out the window. All right. Once I get each camera posed, I'll save this version as a different scene and then I'll be able to render it separately. So I think I'm going to do that. And then let's go to camera five, a close up of this guy. Now, often I use the Genesis 8 female poses for Genesis 9. They seem to work fine. That's an interesting looking pose. He needs to be looking up, though, obviously. So we're going to make him looking up. So after I get my second poses done for the next scene, I'm going to save this as a different scene. So this is Milica Rapunzel. So let's just find it. She's right here. So I don't want to overwrite my first set. So I'm going to make this Milica Rapunzel number two, and we're going to save it. Okay. Now that I have both scenes finished, I have the lighting done and everything looks good. I'm going to make sure they're saved. And then what I do is I'm just going to render every camera. So you see, I'm going to be rendering 10 pictures because I have two scenes with five cameras. To do this, of course, you have to have the render queue add on. And uh, if you don't have that, check out my tutorial on render queue. It's a very handy tool. So I'm going to open up my scene. I'm going to go to render queue through windows, panes, down to the render queue. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add both of these scenes. So it's called Milica Rapunzel. So I'm going to find Milica Rapunzel and select both of those files, open them up. And I'm going to hit just all visible cameras, hit OK. And then I'm just going to render these up and we're going to render the whole queue. So it's going to render our first set of five pictures and then the second set of five pictures so both of our scenes. So I'm going to end up with 10 pictures. Okay, now that I have everything rendered, I'm just going to take my pictures and order them the way I want to to make the comic. I often do one picture for each scene, but you can uh, combine them, you know, to make like a regular comic type book. It's totally up to you. What's really funny is I often just use Microsoft Paint. 
I know that seems kind of archaic, but that's all I need to do is use Microsoft Paint because I can crop, move pictures around, that kind of thing. So you just kind of have to play with whatever program that you desire. But this is how I do it. It's pretty simple. I can move things around. I can open up several pictures and make the comic this way. So you can see an example of how I do this here. I may just take this scene. I got a little bit of blue here, so I don't want that in the picture. Let's do something like this, copy that, and then we can just paste it right in and make a comic book style picture. And then of course, you know, a program like Paint or whatever you wanna use, you can put text in there. I often put text down here at the bottom like this. I just prefer it. it, there's no right or wrong way to do it. I'll write the text down at the bottom like this. But you know, a lot of comics will have it up in the picture. So that's totally up to you. All right, well, I really hope this helped you out. And let me know what you think about my technique. You know, there's no right or wrong way to do this. This is just what I tend to do. So if you have a different method, let me know. That'd be awesome. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think. All right, until next time, have a great day.